if you're looking for a training aid that makes you focus better and helps you to make consistent and clean contact, I got the tool right here for you. Now, when you're looking at this first, um, I've had a couple of clients say, like, Micah, I have enough trouble hitting the ball with a full-size racket head. What's the point of taking that away from me? The whole point of the functional tennis saber is to really force you to pay attention to what matters the most when it comes to making clean contact, the sweet spot. So this is 37 square inches, so obviously significantly less than a regular racket. But what it really does, it helps you eliminate anything unnecessary in your swing. So I've had the Sabre now for three, four weeks, and I've had several clients of all levels play with it. And what I've noticed, and also what they've been telling me is, that they feel they can't afford to put anything unnecessary in their swing. And actually with one client, they were able to really condense down their swing. That was a little bit of a hitch in there. And a hitch obviously leads you to making contact in a certain way. With a bigger racket head, you get away with that. With this, you won't. And that is exactly what the point of it is. So the next thing that it helps with is better footwork. And you're asking, how can a smaller racket head size help with footwork? Well, again, you have to be in a perfect position. And a lot of times, and I can vouch for that when I'm teaching, I'm getting kind of sloppy. And yeah, I get away with it with a regular size racket. With this, you have to get your spacing right. You have to get the distance to the ball right. So you can use the smaller racket head face to make contact. And that is a really good thing. You cannot move too much. The other thing, it's just fun. It's something new. You've never played with something like this before. It feels a little different in the beginning, although the weight is very, very similar to a regular racket. The shaft, everything feels the same. The only thing for me, for instance, as a one-handed backhander, it feels a little weird to not have the throat a little lower here, but you get used to it. But it is fun to hit with that and just swap rackets around and see the difference between hitting with this and then immediately seeing a difference when you're hitting. And the biggest advantage I've seen is when I use it with children. It's like a normal racket, but like not normal. Smaller head size, and it like, I don't know, it feels, it feels good. I feel like you have to focus a lot more. Because they focus a whole lot better. Especially if you have group lessons, you can give this out a little bit as a reward and you see how they're competing against each other with much better focus, with much better concentration and with much better footwork for the aforementioned reasons. So this is a really great tool for kids. I've played with it too. And all the things that I said my clients experienced, I experienced too. When I'm teaching, I ugh, get really sloppy, to be honest, because I'm focusing most of my attention on my clients. And then if I go out and hit for myself a little bit, I'm actually, yeah, I'm framing a lot of balls. I'm not having the swings that I'm used to. But after playing with the saber for a little bit, I'm doing the same things. I'm condensing it down to what I need, the fundamentals and better footwork, because yes, that also suffers a lot when you teach. And it actually did something really funny for me. I do prefer my backhand all day, more confident in it, but my forehand is still better. I had a whole lot of trouble in the beginning with making clean contact, especially on this slice. And so what the Sabre made me do was to step around 
a lot more and look for my forehand. So when I was playing points, I use my forehand more, even though my backhand is my more preferred shot, my forehand is still more dangerous, faster, and I can create more topspin. So to me, that was a really interesting thing to take away that, yeah, I should probably use my forehand a little bit more because I rely on my backhand way too much. The other thing that it does is it helps with the slice. Again, when I'm teaching, I'm not necessarily hitting the regular slice I would use when I'm competing because, of course, I don't want to hit super mean balls to my clients. And so kind of over time when I'm teaching, I kind of developed a, yeah, not really great slice. And I'm just making contact somehow. With a regular racket, you get away with that. With this one here, because it has such a small racket head, if I'm pulling out of the shot, if I'm using my wrist, there is no way that you get the ball over. So it definitely did help me bring me back to really, really sticky slice. More focus, better footwork, cleaner contact, of course, fun, and for me, more use of my forehand, tidying up my backhand slice. Those are the things that I found, my clients have found, and yeah, I think this is a great tool for any player of any level. So go ahead and check out the Functional Tennis Saber.